Hello, hello. My name is uh, Jones, and uh, today we are looking at organization culture. Organization culture is the values and the behaviors that contribute to the unique social and uh, psychological environment of an organization. So, when you are defining culture, you are looking at uh, the values, okay, of a community, the values of. Um, of a community of a, or a social unit. So now, social unit here, that is an organization. So, organization culture, we are looking at values and then also the behaviors. Culture looks at values and we are looking at also the behaviors. So now, to do with an organization, these values and the behaviors, we are looking at them as to how they contribute to the unique social and the psychological environment of that organization. So that is what we talk about when you're looking at organization culture. What are some of the values and the behaviors okay, that contribute to the uniqueness of the organization? So the uniqueness in form of two elements. That is the social uniqueness and the psychological uniqueness of the environment of that organization. Organization culture includes an organization's expectation, experiences, philosophy, and values that hold the organization together and also is expressed in the self-image of the organization, the inner working interaction okay, within the organization, and also the outside, and also the future expectation of the organization. So organization have an inner working relation that they have when you're talking about organization culture, and then they also have an outer image that they try to portray as the organization culture of that institution. Okay, so now let us look at organization self-assessment. When doing a organization self-assessment, we are going to look at an imaginary school known as Muna Open University. Okay, so Muna Open University will be an imaginary school that we are going to look at and we are going to make assess assessment or we are going to conduct self-assessment of this institution. So to conduct a self-assessment, there are some questions, critical questions that have to be asked or that have to be looked at. So that is to do with one, what is the mission statement for that organization or that institution. So now in this case, we are looking at uh, Muna Open University. So the mission statement of Muna Open University is excellence as key to education as an equalizer. Okay, so excellence as key to education as an equalizer. So that is the mission statement. So around this mission statement, the organization culture will be formed. As we are doing the self-assessment, we need to know the mission of the institution. Then we need to understand the customers. Okay, what are the customers for Mona Open University? So the customers of Mona Open University being a inst learning institution will be the students. Okay, so in understanding the organization culture of the imaginary university that we have, which is Muna Open University here, is that we need to understand the customer for that organization. So in this case, for Muna Open University is the students. So the other element that you need to look at when conducting self-assessment is what the customer values. So for Muna Open University, okay, being an institution that offers branded learning, okay, so the customers will value the digital learning aids, okay, and also the branding learning style that Muna, Muna Open University offers. So the, those are the things. So you need to assess uh, the learning styles that are offered by Muna Open University. Okay, as an open university and also the blended learning styles, okay, or methods that are there. So if they are unique and the people can continue doing whatever they have to do, continue working, whilst they earn or whilst they work, it will help them. So 
people are going to value this. If, let's say as an institution, you don't have a fixed uh, uh, program when people need to come for residential, you find that on the issue of value that the customer can look out for, you see that um, uh, the customers will not uh, value your education, will not value how you conduct your, uh, your, 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 your lessons, because they have to get leave so that they can come and learn from your institution. So you need to value the time that the, these people have. Okay, you need to value the you need to value the payment methods that uh, the customer will give you. If you say by this date 50% needs to be paid. So you need to respect that even when your institution covers land law. Because um, these people have got a program on how they want to achieve in making payment okay, by the date that they have stated. Because if at all they find the money either they can use it for other ventures and uh, put in more money. But others, they might even pay more than what they had uh, uh, signed for. So what does the customer value? Customers will value your institution if at all you respect the payment methods that see, they give you. Because they don't want to be disturbed in learnings. All they want is they meet uh, the payment methods that you have accepted and then they come and learn. So you, in uh, making self-assessment of organization culture, you also have to look at the plan, okay? The uh, activity plans, okay, for students, activity plans for the institution, okay? So these activities, how are they respected? When you're supposed to go for clinical rotation, when you're supposed to come for uh, theory rotation, when are you supposed to go for industrial visit? So are uh, these plans, activities, okay, respected? So what is the plan of the institution? Do you provide accessible virtual platforms and do you conduct webinars for the people so, so that is for Muna Open University okay so your plan is to provide accessible virtual platforms for the people that have enrolled within your institution so that they can access whilst they are at home okay so conduct webinars okay which will allow them to learn a topic each and every day or each and every weekend then uh, the last part that you need to look at when conducting self-assessment to do with organization culture is what are the results okay in as much as you put in all these activities you need to ensure that you have 100 percent demand on the, the product or service that you offer. For Muna Open University, we have 100% demand on their education uh, products. So when conducting self-assessment, ask yourself uh, questions or look out for the mission of who, that institution. Look out for who the customer, the customer base for that institution. Okay, look at the customer value and also the plans that are there and also the results. Okay, so now how? Let us look now at a building at a building an organization culture. We have looked at self-assessment, but now let us look look at building an organization culture. When people reconnect with their own commitment to make a difference in the world and find that they play a meaningful role in a building an organization and a culture that they want on shared vision and core values, they will, they will embrace and participate in the change that they want to happen. Okay, when um, you embrace a high quality delivery of lessons for your students, so it is because you want people from there to produce, let's say, the best results in the country. Okay, we want them to produce the best graduate. So you need to find ways of motivating. We need to find a culture of motivating your workers so that they can work an extra mile. Okay, the example I can give, 
the one who is teaching pediatrics if they if let's say in that subject you have um, 100 percent pass find something to motivate that person who is teaching that subject the one who is teaching leadership and management those that are involved in teaching find ways of motivating so that you can develop a culture of working hard within your institution because the people within your institution the, that form the social unit of the organization will know and understand that um, with 100 percent results these are some of the rewards that are there so when you want to build a culture you need to come up with some of these activities okay or plans so and then uh, well with that said we can also say uh, people also within an organization who have a certain kind of language that they use, customer language that you use, you see that when you look at banks, they have a certain customer language that they use. And then when you talk about hospitals, the custom language depends on the personality, not necessarily the profession that the, that person needs to embrace. So. You have to use a certain kind of language, you have to portray a certain kind of behavior. So here is uh, portray professionalism uh, throughout, whether you are in the private institution, you are in a government institution, professionalism should be the same. Whether you are getting small salary or getting a high salary, professionalism needs to be maintained. So that can improve working culture among ST professions okay so inevitably, inevitably you can create a culture that truly and meaningfully enhance and strengthen the capacity of of uh, institution if also let's say you have legislating bodies that protect okay its uh, members not only because they are able to uh, pay some certain taxes that keep afloat these institutions, but the getting bodies are coming to the aids in order to maintain the integrity of the profession when it is being destroyed within the media. So you find that people now work hard knowing that these legating bodies and other um, people that are overlooking this will come to their aid if they do the right thing. So doing the right thing becomes cardinal and that becomes the culture because you know you are protected by doing the right thing. So organization culture contributes to organization effectiveness and uh, achievement. Okay, so if there's good organization culture, there will be effectiveness in an organization. If there's good organization culture, if it is promoted, there will be increased achievement within the organization. Organization culture is possibly the most critical factor determining an organization's capacity, effectiveness, and longevity. If you have an institution, you don't pay workers, you pay workers late, it possibility that your institution will last long okay becomes very low okay because you need to motivate the, the social unit of individuals that are working with you okay so you need to know that organization culture also can contribute significantly to the organization's plans and the brand promise also it can also uh, bring about positive and negative implications okay the people that come to the institution okay that come to the institution should be well received the people that leave the institution also should be given a good send-off this will help those that are still within the organization to have a good impression okay of the working culture of that organization when someone is leaving you don't insult those people you 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 say a very nice bye to them okay so that they can go out there and explore you see that these people at one point they would want to come back to this institution because it has got good uh, working culture so when culture is out of alignment with mission, core values, and operation strategies, it's been, it can become 
significantly a liability for the organization. Each and every time we're working in an organization, we need to align ourselves with the core values of the institution, with the core values of the organization. Because if we do not do this, then at the end, we will not achieve the goals of the institution. Okay, so to keep organization culture vital and relevant, people need a deep understanding of why the organization was created. What brought its members together in the first place and why the group still exists. There are a lot of institutions that you might work for. You might think at one point it is almost collapsing because of poor organization culture. With improved organization culture, coming back to your core values as to why you exist, you will find that each and every person now will work towards that common value and you start increasing your customer base. So in summary, organization culture affects organization's productivity and performance. Organization culture provide guidelines on customer care and service and also products quality and the safety. Organization culture provides attendance and punctuality and concerns for the environment. It helps improve motivation among its workers. Organization culture also extends a production methods, marketing and advertising practices. Okay, for the products that you might be selling or the new products that you might have to come with. Okay, if you have got good, um, good organization culture, you find that you market your organization nicely. Organization culture also brings in some kind of uniqueness of an organization even when there is um, the, even, even when there are challenges. So it makes an organization to stand out. There are a lot of institutions that might be out there, but other institutions have been there for a long time. Okay, and they have con they have become they are constant with uh, let's say enrollment for our Muna Open University. You can find that they are constant. Why? Because people look at their culture, look at their brand to be consistent. If you are not consistent, okay, in the way you operate your organization, you don't have a proper organization culture. People will look at you to be a doomed institution, will look at you to be a doomed organization. So you put, need to portray a high image of yourself and you need to offer services according to that image that you portray. Then people will respect you, your culture, and will not see the needs to change because uh, though change is an inevitable thing, but they will not see the need to change your culture because they know that if you go there today, you go there tomorrow, the service of these people remain the same and it's always top class. Okay, of course, with an organization culture does not mean you don't make improvements. You, of course, make improvements according to changing dynamics within the business or community. So, organization culture is an important uh, tool in marketing your brand. Others have adopted organization culture where each and every morning you offer players. Okay, others also teach uh, religious topics to their students so that the students will behave in a morally upright way whilst they are at school and when they uh, when they graduate. So all these cultures, if they are brought within the organization, it will help in shaping the type of graduates that comes from your institution. So organization culture becomes a very important topic in management.
By definition, we said these are values and behaviors that contribute to the unique social and psychological environment of who? An organization. And we said organization culture includes organization expectation, experience, philosophy, and values that hold the, the institution or organization together. Okay. And also they are expressed in self-image, inner working interaction uh, with the inside world and outside world, and also for future expectation. Then we looked at organization self-assessment. Here we looked at the questions that you need to ask when uh, assessing organization culture. So from me, Jones Muna, I'm saying thank you and I keep studying.